Another day, another... What's the phrase? A dollar! I'm not getting paid for anything. Hello, good sir! How are you doing today? Okay. <clears throat> what? Okay. You know what? Let's go see what everyone is up to. Hello! Sunny. What is going on? <laughs> you got a lot of books here. Hi. How you doing? Sunny sits contently on the couch with a book in her hands. Various other books are scattered around her in small piles on the couch and coffee table. That's a lot of books you got there. Huh? Sunny looks up from her book at, and at you. Oh, yeah! She sweeps her gaze over the books that surround her. I went to the library to try to find some stuff about Gaia, but I kind of got a little carried away. She lets out a nervous chuckle. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Did you find anything? Um, a little bit. Most of what I found so far is just basic info about Gaia. She pauses, looking away. Also, I may have gotten a bit distracted. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I found this book. She holds up she holds up the book she was reading. And haven't been able to put it down. It's about a detective solving a murder mystery. I don't want to spoil anything in case you wanted to read it yourself, but it's so good! Sheree opens the book and continues to read but without waiting for a response. Well, uh, I don't want to interrupt your reading, but I was gonna explore the town, because, you know, why not? Uh, if you wanted to join... Oh, sure, just let me finish this chapter. She brings the book close to her face as she focuses on the story. Alright, uh, take your time. Well, at least Sunny's doing good. Uh, where is everyone else? Uh, wait, I smell, I smell. Wait, what's going on? Oh, hi, Ravi. You walk into the small kitchen and a nice aroma of freshly baked cookies fills your nose. You look over to see Ravi wearing an apron as he cleans various bowls and various, look at that, cleans up various bowls and utensils. He would occasionally pause to check on the bread inside the oven before going back to see what he was to what he was doing he seems too preoccupied to, pre <laughs> preoccupied to notice you walk into the room you notice a tray of freshly baked chocolate chip cookies on the counter to your right and your eyes spark with desire oh. cookies he's not gonna notice right he won't notice if i take a cookie he won't notice I don't think I took you. You glance back at Ravi for a quick moment to make sure the coast is clear before going over to the cookies and reaching out to grab one. As you touch it, you feel the heat emanating from the, from the cookie and you jerk your hand back. Ah! Your sudden yelp gets Ravi's attention and he looks back at you with concern. However, ex his expression shifts when he realizes what you were trying to do. He narrows his eyes and smirks. That's what you get for trying to sneak a cookie without asking he says. You can't help but feel bad, not only because you're hurting hand, but because of the slight sense of guilt. Luckily, the burn isn't bad, and Ravi doesn't seem very upset about you trying to snatch a cookie, so you're probably fine. You shake your hand, off to, you shake your hand to cool it off, and turn to Ravi, who has gone back to what he was doing. Um, what's with all the baking? Is there a special occasion? Nope. I just wanted to make something before I head out for the day. He takes another look at the oven before grabbing some oven mitts and taking the bread out of it. He carefully sets the bread on a tray to cool along alongside the cookies. Your mouth waters as you eye the golden brown loaf of bread. Ravi notice, notices and shoes you away. Bread is for later, he says he, as he moves it away from you. You can have a cookie if you want after they've cooled. <sighs> Fine! Oh, you're going out today? Uh, where are you going? I have some errands to run. Nothing that would be fun or interesting to you. Before before you can even think about asking if you could join him, he says, he says, No, you can't come with. 
I don't need you causing trouble and making a simple task more complicated. Well, I, I would never cause trouble. Mm, sure you wouldn't. He holds his hand over the cookies to check if they're still hot. After inspection, he pipes up again. Cookies are cool enough to touch now if you want any. <gasps> cookie! Ravi chuckles at your excitement and rushes as you rush to grab a cookie. He notices you reach out to grab a cookie in both in both of your hands and he snaps at you. Only one! Ah, sorry! You drop one of the cookies back on the tray and rush out of the kitchen. <laughs> Let me out! Cookie! Where's Dia? Tony, you know where Dia is? Is she upstairs? Dia! Are you here? You wander upstairs and find Dia in her room, with the door slightly ajar. You look over and knock on the door, peeking in as peeking in as you do so. You notice her look back towards you and she shoves some clothes in, as she shoves some clothes in her drawer. Who she pauses her statement when she sees it's you. Oh, hey Marsh. She greets you with low energy, but a smile nonetheless. You can come in. You push the door open and open more and step inside. Hey, Dia, you got any plans today? Thank you for the bits, queen. <sighs> she sighs and her sl shoulders slump. I wanted to take a nap, but I promised Leo and I'd hang out with him today. Uh, actually, speaking of, wh where is he? If he's not home, he's probably at his little shop. I swear, he loves that shop more than anything else. I think he's just excited to finally have it open. It's not open yet, though. She begins to make her way past you and out of the room. You turn and follow after her. Wait, wait, what do you mean it's not open? I thought everything was ready. She shrugs. He said he wanted to add more to it. He didn't elaborate, though. He said he wanted it to be a surprise. A surprise? Yep, and I'm gonna go find out what it is. I'm heading to the shop if you want to join me. Uh, sure. I, I, I said I was gonna hang out with Sunny, so let me see if she wants to join. Sure thing. Sunny! We're going out! Where did Dia go? Oh my god! Why are you hiding behind the- Oh my goodness. Sunny! Do you wanna- do you wanna- um- um- the, the, You make your way downstairs and immediately go over to Sunny. Sunny! You ready to go? We're heading out! Wait, 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 not yet! She brings her book closer to her face and she scans the words with wide eyes. After a short moment, she slams the book shut and jumps up from the couch. Okay, ready! Awesome! Let's go! Alright, fellas. Let's, let's skirt. Let's skirt. Come on. Are we going? Alright. Uh, which way was the docks? I forgot. Was it this way? It was this way. <laughs> There's the docks! There's where we need to go. The little market area. There's his shop. Okay, we just have to get down there. I don't remember how to get down there. Hello, good sir. You need a guide? Nah, I'm good. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. I got this. Don't worry. Hello! Oh, he's here. Awesome. Hey, buddy. How you doing today? You and the others approach the shop to find Leon messing with something shiny in his hands. Upon closer, uh, upon closer inspection, you see him using his draconic claws to bend and twist a piece of metal around one of the crystals you got from the mines. Hey, Leon! At the sound of your voice, Leon pauses what he's working on for a moment and glances up at you. He gives you and the group a small smile and wave before continuing his work. Uh, how's the shop going? Leon finishes attaching the crystal to the chain and sighs as he sets the finished product down on the shelf. <sighs> it's been a bit slow today, but other than that, it's been going well, he says. 
I'm taking the opportunity to restock some stuff for the next wave of customers. Dia pushes forward. Dia pushes forward. Any freebies this time? She looks around the shop a bit before reaching out for a bracelet with a red crystal. Leon would slap her hand away before she could grab it. I thought you were just selling crystals. When did you get all of this stuff? Leon glances back at you. Not too long ago, I thought I'd spice things up a bit by turning the crystals you got me you got me into jewelry. He says as he starts working on another necklace. I talked with the local armor and got a good supply of metal pieces for making them. Oh, that's cool. They all talk with each other for a while before another person walks up to the sh no, sorry. Before another person walks up to the shop. Um, excuse me, are you open? Leon perks up at the new customer. Uh, we are. What could I get you? The person pauses, looking over the various jewels displayed on the shelves. Hmm, do you do custom orders? They ask. I do. What you thinking? Well, you begin to tune out the conversation. All right, I'm bored. <laughs> you turn your attention away and back towards Dee and Sunny to see what they're up to. Sunny sits on the, in the corner with her face buried in her book again, while Dia takes a closer look at all the different things on display. <sighs> it's going to be one of those days then, isn't it? Hey, you guys! Wait, how do I get... Can I just... Shh, don't, don't tell him. Sunny! You try to get Sunny's attention, but it seems she's too invested. She doesn't pay you any mind. <sighs> well, at least she's enjoying herself. Dia, what you doing? What's up? You go over to Dia to, and join her in admiring the various jewels. She doesn't notice you at first, completely invested in a necklace she holds before her face. He wouldn't notice if I just borrowed one, right? He, she mutters quietly to herself. Uh, Dia? Ah! Dia jumps at the sound of your voice and nearly drops the necklace. Barsh! Don't sneak up on me like that! I'm sorry! You and Dia look at each other, and then at the necklace in her hand. You make eye contact again without- uh, Make eye contact again without saying a word. Dia sighs and puts the necklace back. <sighs> Fine, you're right. I shouldn't take without asking. You open your mouth to assure her you weren't going to say anything, but- Dia interrupts you. Between us, I didn't try to take anything, okay? Got it. Thanks, bud. I knew you'd have my back. She gives you a pat on the head. You can't help but f be confused about this whole interaction. Um, I'm just gonna let you do you, um... Okay, Sunny is doing her thing. She's reading. Dia... I don't... I don't know what she's up to. Maybe I should I keep an eye on her? Is she gonna steal? Nah, she wouldn't steal. Um <sighs> What do I wanna do? Here, Leon, what's what are you up to? You turn your attention back towards Leon as he finishes up with the previous customer. The customer seems pleased as they thank him and walk away. Once they're gone, you go over and poke Leon as he get to get his attention. Hey, um, do you need help with anything by chance? Uh, I got nothing else to do, so. Hold on, I gotta hydrate. Ugh. He looks at you with a smile. <laughs> Unless you know how to make jewelry, there's not much you can help with at the moment. <sighs> Poo. <sighs> he pauses, thinking for a moment. Well, maybe you can help a little, he murmurs. You could pass me my supplies and help take orders when customers arrive. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, I got you! Alright, well, customers! How long does it take to get customers? Customers! Come to the shop! We have, uh, uh, what are we selling? We have crystals and other things. Anyone? Oh! A young scholar runs up to the stall, panting as they lean on the counter and try to catch their breath. 
Hello, welcome to... Before you can finish greeting, before you can finish your greeting, the scholar speaks up. Hey, is it you? They say between breaths. Do you guys sell lapis or vis crystals? Uh, I, I, yeah, I think. Uh, are these what you're looking for? You take a loose crystal off one of the shelves and hold it out to the person. Their eyes light up. Oh, yes, uh, do you have any Herba or Victus crystals? Uh, um, I don't know. Which ones are those? <laughs> the light in their eyes fades, and they give you a conflicted look as they try to hide their distaste. You work at a shop that sells Vis crystals, but you don't know the different types? Um, hey, hey man, I just work here. <sighs> Whatever, I'll go somewhere else. They begin to walk away. What? Wait! Oh man. Your call, your call fails to turn them around and they continue to leave. Good job, Marsh. You scared away a potential customer. Heck. <sighs> Whatever, it's fine. You'll do good in the next one. You told Leon you'd help with selling things to customers, and that's exactly what you'll do. One missed customer isn't an issue. It's completely normal for people to come and not buy anything. Although that person was the perfect customer, especially if they're interested in crystals. If only you had a sales pitch. Maybe then they would have bought something. Hmm. You become lost in thought for a moment. Thinking of what to say, but, uh, thinking of what to say at the next cu when the next cus bleh, hold on sorry thank you for the follow that sound screwed me up <laughs> welcome to the stream uh you become lost in thought for a moment thinking of what to say to the next customer that comes your way it's not long until someone walks up to the shop oh oh hello welcome to my friend's wonderfully amazing crystal and jewelry shop what can I get you while you're doing your whole welcoming spiel, you don't even notice the little kid reaching over the counter, trying to grab one of the crystals off the shelves. You only notice when you hear the child's mother call out to them. Evan, no! The mother runs to her child and grabs him. She pulls him away from the shop before he can get his hands on anything. She, she looks up at you with a guilty expression. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> it's okay, um... If you're interested, we have crystals for sale as well. The child's eyes widen as he looks at his mother. Mama, I want crystal! He bounces on his feet excitedly as he waits for his mother's response. His mother looks at him. His mother looks at him. No, dear, Mama can't afford right now. We can't afford it right now, she says. We can come back later, okay? I want it now. Come on. The mother starts dragging her child away as he continues to complain. She looks back at you. Sorry about that. We'll come back later. She smiles. Um, it's okay. Uh, if you... Uh, uh oh. Well, yeah, come back later. Well, we got the crystals. Just, well, we always have them. They're gone. They're gone. They're just gone. <sighs> well, that was... That was... Ugh. He watches the mother and child leave. He sigh, sigh relief. He didn't sell anything, but that could have gotten much worse. If that kid's mother didn't do anything, the kid would have stolen something under your nose. And you wouldn't have even noticed until it was too late. You focus up and wait for the next customer to arrive. Your focus doesn't last very long, though. No customer comes your way and you start to feel boredom creeping in. Ugh, I'm bored! This sucks. It's boring. <laughs> I want something interesting. Okay, okay, let's practice our sales pitch. Hello, welcome to my friend's magically- Wait, not. it's not magical. Are they magical? The crisp- Wait. Hmm. Okay, sales pitch, sales pitch. What- what, what should I- They are magical. Okay, welcome to my friend's magically- Magical crystal jewelry shop of wonders. Isn't- Is that good? Do you like that? Oh, he doesn't like it. Okay, okay. Um, let's try again. Let's try again. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Let's think. Let's think. Hmm. 
I can't think of a sales pitch. Oh! You watch Leona see the works delicately the delicately at one of the one of the crystals. He finally finishes this piece of jewelry and sets it aside to and move on to the next. Your attention is snapped back to your own responsibility when you hear a voice speak up next to you. Excuse me. You jump a bit at the new voice and turn to see a dread looking at you with piercing yellow eyes. Ah! Ah! Shoot! Sorry! I didn't see you there. <laughs> How can I help you? Frick, I forgot the sales pitch. Oh well. What are you using those crystals for? The dread asks as he gets... The dread asks as he gestures to the crystals. Ah, uh, oh, um, my friend is using them to make jewelry. Are you interested in stuff? He pauses, processing what you said. You're selling them? Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I'm not selling them. My, my friend is. That's a waste of a res- That's a waste of resources, the dread says bluntly. They're meant for magic, not jewelry. Um... Well, it's it's just for fun. I'm sure there's plenty of other crystals in the mine still. He doesn't say anything else. Instead, continuing to watch Leon craft a ring out of a crystal and some metal wire. Hmm. Uh, um, uh, are you interested? We can make you something if you like. Uh, what about something... What about a yellow crystal? It'll match your eyes. He looks back at you. You mean air. You blink in confusion at his response. He notices and sighs. The yellow ones are air. Oh! Wait, didn't I know that already? The dread ignores you and continues to look at the crystals with the sh within the shop. After a moment, and without a word, he turns and walks away. Ah, wait, wait! You call out to the dread, but he ignores you and continues on his way. You stand there in defeat. You've spoken to multiple people today, and you haven't made a single sale. Oh, dang it! Gosh! I suck, bro! Ugh. Whatever. I guess I'll just hope... <sighs> maybe I'll have better luck. Or maybe I'll just take a break. Leon, can I take a break? I'm not good at this. <sighs> you can handle it. I'm just gonna sit right here and relax for a bit. I'm sorry. I'll I'll get back to work in a sec. Just to get I may be able to close my eyes for a bit. Ugh. A few hours pass as customers come and go from the shop. Things have been running smoothly as the sun's as the sun begins to set, business begins to slow down. Leon finishes up with one last customer before shutting things down for the night. All right, we're done for the day, he turns to you and the others. He looks as if he is about to say something when he pauses, looking at Dee and Sunny with a hint of disappointment. You turn to look at them and swell and realize why. Sunny sits on one of the counters with their face still buried in a book, and Dee is fast asleep beside her. You hear Leon next to you. You you hear Leon sigh next to you. <sighs> well, at least they enjoyed themselves today. He looks at you. Thanks for your help today, Marshy. I assume everything went smoothly on your end as well. Um, uh, 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 uh it went great. Swimmingly, even fantastic. Great. I'm gonna start cleaning up. Go get those two, he gestures to Dee and Sunny, and then we can head home. Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> you make your way over to Dee and Sunny and give them both a little poke. Sunny's feathers ruffle a bit. What? I was getting to the good part. You ready to go home? Let me finish this chapter! She doesn't wait for a response. Response or argument before shoving her face back into the book. <sighs> you sigh and, and turn to Dia. Dia, wake up! We're heading out! You nudge Dia to try to wake her up. Dia groans and swats her hands away. Ugh, five more minutes. Fine, stay here then! Don't complain to me when you get cold at night. Dia opens her eyes. Uh, what? She slowly sits up. 
rubbing her eyes and look and looks around. Oh shoot! How long was I out? Uh, probably all day, honestly. Oh man, I hope Leon isn't too upset. I promised I'd help him with the shop today. Uh, you know what? I'm going to mess with her. He's never going to forgive you for your crimes. What? <laughs> what the heck? Leon's Leon's voice suddenly sounds. You and Dia both jump at the anger in his voice. Even Sunny's attention gets pulled away. Oh no, he's upset! Dia says. Oh, huh? What happened? Leon fixes you all with a glare. None of you pocketed any crystals, did you? You all stay silent as you exchange gla as you exchange glances. Uh, was it me? Dia says, putting her hands up in defense. Leon looks from Dia to Sunny, who shakes her head, and then he looks to you. Marcy, you didn't give away any for free, did you? Ooh, you're busted! Dia whispers. Uh huh? No, 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 wait, are you sure you didn't miscount? I double and triple checked. The amount of things sold doesn't match the amount of things missing. But, uh, wait, how? Wait, um, uh, you don't think someone stole them, do you? Leon pauses, and he, and he starts to chuckle. <laughs> well, they picked the wrong shop to mess with then. Oh, uh, well, Leon, that's, that's just, it's just a couple of crystals. It's not that serious. Leon's, or Dia's cut off by a sharp glare from Leon. On second thought, she hops up from her spot on the counter with newfound determination. Let's go find this thief and teach them a lesson. Yeah, wait, but we don't know who did it. Don't worry. Dia, what? <laughs> Dia spins around, pulling something from her pocket and bringing it to her face. When she faces you again, she's brandishing a fake mustache. Detective Dia is on the case! Where did she get the mustache? Does she just carry one around with her on for occasions like this? You may never understand, but you can respect it. Sunny perks up. Detective? She closes her book and scurries over to stand beside Dia. Her eyes sparkle with excitement. I'll be your trusty sidekick! Uh, okay. Uh, what role do I play then? You can be the witness, Sunny says. Can you recite all the events that happened before the crime? Where did you get a mustache? <laughs> um, this isn't a game, you two, Leon growls in irritation. If you want to find this person, you need to take this seriously. I assure you, I'm taking this very seriously, Dia says as her mustache starts to fall off her face. She grabs it and readjusts it. <sighs> My heroes. Okay, um, well, Leon's right. We need to take this seriously. Hey, Dia, you have any more mustaches? Oh my gods. Leon face palms as, <laughs> as Dia gives you and Sunny gives you and Sunny each your own mustache. Oh, that's where you got the mustache, Sunny. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Mustache acquired. Let's see. Um, Leon, um, what exactly was taken? Well, if you're actually serious about this. Only a few Vis crystals. Specifically, air and aqua. I'm not sure what this thief wants to do with them. Uh, those can be used for magic, right? Yes, what does that have to do with the thief? Uh, maybe they wanted them for whatever magic they have in them? Maybe, but don't narrow it down to just that. Don't narrow it down to that just yet. How do you know if the thief even wanted them for magic? You have a point. Okay, uh, did you notice anyone suspicious come by the shop? All the customers, all the customers I spoke with bought something. Why would they want to steal something if they already spent money on it? Leon says confidently. I've been doing this for years. I know when someone has something up their sleeve. He then gives you a look. Can't say the same for you, though. Heck. Marcy! Sonny chimes in. Y you were working the front with Leon. Do you remember if anyone seems suspicious at all? Hey, I'm supposed to be the lead detective here, Dia huffs. She then fixes you with an intense gaze. Marshy, 
what can you remember from the scene of the crime? Um, you recall all the customers you spoke with. Most of them seemed innocent, but a few stick out to you. First was the young scholar. They seemed desperate for some kind of vis crystals. However, you recall that the ones they wanted weren't any of the ones in the shop. That doesn't mean they couldn't have come back to take any. Take some. Second, there was the mother and child. The child wanted to get something from the shop, but the mother said they couldn't afford it. And they both left. But who's to say they didn't steal something while you weren't looking? Maybe the child grabbed something and neither you nor their mother noticed. Third was the dread. He didn't seem interested in buying anything. But he didn't comment on how he did comment on how the how using vis crystals for jewelry was a waste of resources. Also, you can't help but get an odd feeling from him. Hmm, I might have a hunch. You do? <gasps> before regaining her Dia gasped before regaining her composure. Uh, I mean, uh perfect. Tell us everything you know. I think I might know who the culprit is. Who? Dia and Bunny. Bunny? Dia and Sunny both ask simultaneously. Follow me. Okay. Okay. Leon, we're gonna find this thief and we're gonna bring them back. Where's the door to this? Oh, it's over there. Well, I'm hopping the fence. Okay. 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 I have, I think, I think. I think I am, I'm on, I think I'm on to something. Um, um, um. Where would they have gone? Hmm. Let's think, let's think, let's think. Let's, let's go this way. So I was thinking, cause, okay, earlier, a mom and her child. Well, okay, so there's three culprits. There's, there's, there was a scholar who was interested in crystals, but they didn't want the ones that we had in the shop. So I'm not entirely sure if they're, like, suspect, suspect, but I guess they can be on the list. But more specifically, there was a mom and a kid. And what I'm thinking is maybe, maybe, because the kid tried to grab something when I wasn't looking. Well, I wasn't paying attention. That's my bad. But the kid was trying to grab something, and the mom took them away before they could. But maybe, maybe they did grab something, and we just didn't notice. So we have to find that mom and kid, because maybe that kid snuck something uh, snuck something from under our nose. Or, alternatively, maybe they came back and they stole. Because, you know, I don't know, um, um, uh, uh, uh. Where would they have gone? Where's a park? Do you think they would have gone to a park? Do you guys know where a park is? Kids go like parks. Let's go find a park. Does anyone know where a park is? Where was that? What about that one with the swing? Where is that? Wait, we passed it. It's back here, isn't it? Wait, actually, wait. Do you guys know where the park is? Dia, do you know where the park is? I, I started walking without even thinking. Yes, you do? Okay, okay. Where's the park? Lead the way. I have a hunch. I have a feeling that might be at a park because moms always take their kids to parks, right? Moms always take their kids to parks. Especially you rambunctious ones who like stealing crystals. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sorry. We're on a mission. We're on a secret investigation. Son, are you with us? All right. Let's go. Uh, are they here? Uh, any mom and child around here? No? Maybe they're... Hmm... Heck, is there another park we can go to? How about we go this way? There's so many parks in this city! Maybe they're at the big one! Where was the big one? Oh, they couldn't have gone up. That's too far, right? No, no, they wouldn't have gone up. You know of another one? Okay, oh, lead the way to the other park. They might be that, that one. I, I don't know why I'm so... 
kids go to parks, okay? Kids go to parks. I'm just hoping that my my really stupid hypothetical is actually worth it. There's a swing. Kid kid or mom? No, not here. Okay. Oh god, Dia. Where'd you go? Okay, she's over here. Kid or mom? Hello? Is there a mom and a child here? Hello? I don't see them. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Guys, where are they? Do you guys see them? Hmm. Are those dolls? Oh, that's so cute. Focus. We must find them. Maybe? Hmm. Where are they? Where would they go? Okay, let's think. Let's think for this. If they gone home, that's an issue. Because, like... Okay. Did they they might have gone home. What do we do if they go home? We can't we don't know where they live. We can't just get into their houses. Um uh uh What do we <laughs> Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think. Chat 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 where where would a mom and a child go that's not a park and not home? Are you reading your book? Sonny, we're on a secret mission! We have to stay focused! You can't just read your stories! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Think, think, think. Okay. Let's- let's keep- let's keep looking. Ah. Oh, we're not- this was a waste of time. Okay, okay. Stay focused, Mars. Stay focused. Oh, that was a big old waste of time. <sighs> Dia sighs as you all finish talking about one of the possible suspects. All the people we talked to had nothing to do with the stolen crystals. She takes off her fake mustache in defeat. I don't deserve this. <sighs> we can't give up yet. We're so close, I can feel it. Come on, Marshy, there has to be something we missed. Um... Actually, uh, I, I mentioned the dread, right? Before you can say anything, Dia perks up, having seemingly noticed something behind you. Wait, guys, were the what were the crystals that were stolen again? Uh, air and aqua? Dia's eyes widen as she grabs you and Sunny's shoulders. She turns both of you around and points in the alleyway. There! You look down the alleyway and she- and s <laughs> Sorry. You look down the alleyway to see where she's pointing. You see a hooded figure in the alleyway. In front of them is a strange looking table. A crystal-like orb floats on- floats above the table. You're a bit confused at first until you notice the figure holding two blue crystals and one yellow crystal. You watch as they take the crystal and set it near the strange orb. The crystal floats around you for a moment before dissipate before dissipating and in, in the, the crystal floats around it for a moment before dissipating and imbuing it with a pale yellow color. Sunny looks at the strange figure, hesitation in her voice. Um, are you sure? I have a bad feeling about them. Maybe we should tell the guards instead? Hey! You! 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 Marshy, wait! We caught you, thief! Hmm? Crap. Whoa, wait! <laughs> ah! Ah! Holy heck. Marshy! Are you okay? I'm okay. What the heck was that? I don't know. We should leave and get Leon. 
Oh, now you're gonna get it, bucko. Do you really want to pick this fight? Try me. Dia, no! <laughs> your loss. Uh, Dia, hang on! <laughs> what the? Nice hit! Guys? Get the stick, Dia! Oh, shoot! I got the wand! Now what? Make it quick, because this guy looks like he's gonna kill me! We need to leave! Run! Ugh. Come on! 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 Oh shoot! Where's Dia? Where's Dia? Where's Dia? Dia! 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 Where are you? Shoot! 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 Dia! Over here! Over here! Come on! What are we doing? Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Do you have it still? Okay, you do. Oh god! <laughs> Oh, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, ah, ah. What are we doing? Sunny cries as you and her run after Dia. Are you guys even listening to me? We have to get out of here and tell Leon. We will. Dia, go towards the shop. Okay. Dia calls back as she continues to run. She glances back at the stranger as they get closer to her. She yelps as they jump at her and try to take the wand from her. Give it back! Ah! Are she sunny catch? Dia holds the wand up and throws it in the air. Ah, I got it! You run up and catch the wand as it flies through the air. It bounces out of your fingers as you fumble to hold it. <laughs> hold it as you fumble to get a hold of it for a moment you manage to grab on you feel a magical aura radiate from the wand you can't help but wonder how this thing works whoa marshy you're broken out of your thoughts as sunny calls out to you you look up and notice the strangers turn their focus on you and now running at and now is now running at you oh jeez in your panic, you point the wand at them, and you, uh, and you see the tip of it light up. A magic projectile, just like the one that you're, that was fired at you, shoots out of it and towards the stranger. The stranger, not a, not expecting you to actually use the wand on them, notices a little too bit, a little too late, and is hit by the projectile. They grunt as they slide back a few feet. At first glance, they don't seem to be hurt, but guilt still begins to well up inside your chest. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, good idea, Marsh. Dia says, we can use the spell to keep them away from us. But, oh, wait, that wasn't... Let, let's go. Dia takes the lead and runs off. Uh, Dia! You and Sunny both look at the strangers. They glare daggers into the both of you. Oh, uh, gotta go. Ah, I have the wand now. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Ah, I went to I went a dead end. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Jukum, 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 jukum. Dia, Dia. Oh god, they're chasing. <laughs> I'm I'm getting so turned around. Ah, uh, the beach, the beach, the beach, beach, beach. Ah. Uh, Okay, okay. Are we good? Are we good? Did we lose them? We did not lose them. We did not lose them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dia, Dia, go. go. Dia, no long, no long. Dia. Uh, catch. No, no, no. Go, go, go on. Dia. Throw it over here! Over here! Ah! Ah! Okay, I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Ah! Ah! Okay! Uh, 
Oh. Stay back! Dia! Oh shoot! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Dia! No, don't let him get it, don't let him get it! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did you get it? Okay, go, 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 go! Dia! Dia! Over here! Throw it over here! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's in the water! It's in the water! I got it! This way, this way, this way, this way! Oh, they're still falling us! <laughs> this was a terrible idea! Ah! Oh, we did help! Dia! Where did you go? Over here! Oh, shoot! Okay, run, run, running, running, running! Ah, ah, ah! Dia! Hey! Uh, stay away! Dia throws the wand at you and you catch it and then point it towards the cloaked person in front of you. You ready yourself to shoot the spell, but nothing. You look down at the wand and you see the orb on the tip of the... Uh, you look down at the wand as you see the orb on the tip of it light up for a split for a second before flickering and going out. Going out with a small spark of magic. Well, I think we broke it! What do you mean it's broken? Tia calls out to you. I mean it's broken and it's not doing the magic stuff anymore. The stranger walks up to you. The hood fallen off fallen off during the chase. So now you can actually see their face. As red with long a long dark, now a bit messy hair hair and curly horns atop their head stands before you. It seems like your suspicions were correct. This is the same person who came to the shop earlier. You know it's the same person because they have the same piercing yellow eyes as the one you saw before. Uh, hey! <laughs> they snatch the wand away from you and look at it with a sigh. <sighs> you drained all the vis. Of course it doesn't work anymore. Um, what, 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 what's this? They give you a look that basically tells you they're not in the mood to answer you. As as the chaos seems to calm down, Sunny starts to make her way back to the shop. I'm getting Leon! She turns and runs away, leaving you and Dia d with this person that you don't even know the name of. You're op you open your mouth... You open your mouth to ask their name, but Dia speaks up before you before you with a laugh. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, magic boy? You don't even have any magic anymore. Holy moly! <laughs> Dia's teasing is cut off as the dread swings the wand at her like a club. She barely manages to dodge out of the way of her of his of their swing and backs up, putting her hands up in defense. Okay, boy! Taken! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I know we kind of got off on the wrong foot. We don't need to be violent. Uh, let's start over, shall we? Uh, my name is Marshy. You hold out your hand to the dread and give them a kind smile. They stare at you, but they don't seem to return the favor. Okay, maybe not. You awkwardly take your hand back. Well, if you're not gonna give us your name, can you at least return the crystals you stole? Dia says, putting her hands on her hips. Oh god. They turn to her. Is that what this was all about? Um, yeah, kind of. <sighs> they sigh and take out a blue, crystal, blue aqua crystal, handing it to you. Fine. If it's really that big a deal, you can have it. You take the crystal and stare at it for a moment. Uh, but wait, what about the other crystals? I already used them. I can't give them back. They say without even an ounce of guilt in their voice. They pause for a moment. Is that all? Um, I guess so. Actually, why did you shoot Marshy with that spell, huh? She came running at me. They say with the same emotionless toned voice. It was instinct. Don't tell me you were afraid of a pink fluffball running at you. 
I've learned not to judge by appearances. They begin to walk away. Now if you'll excuse me. What's going on here? A familiar voice speaks up. The dread stops in their tracks and looks up at the newcomer. <laughs> Busted. Leon, we caught the thief! Your joy, is your joy immediately fades as you turn to see a very disappointed Leon. A disappointed look on Leon's face. An upset Sonny would be hiding behind him. Dia moves in next to you. He's mad. Oh no. <sighs> I'm not mad. I just want to know what happened. Sonny told me you ran around the city shooting spells at each other. They started it! Dia says, pointing at the nameless dread. But forget that. Here's your thief. You should be thanking us for catching them. She crosses her arms. Leon fixes the dread with a serious look. May I ask why you stole from me? I needed more materials for some spells. I don't have much money on me, and I assumed that taking a few crystals would go unnoticed. I returned what I could, but I already used the other crystals to make a spell. Leon is silent. He thinks for a moment before holding out his hand. Give me the spell. The dread narrows, his, narrows their eyes. What? You used stolen crystals in order to make it, correct? In that case, it's not yours, Leon explains. I'll let you off the hook if you give me the spell you, if you give me the spell you made with stolen crystals. Wait, seriously? Tia says. The dread hesitates before taking the orb off the tip of the wand and handing it to Leon. They refuse to look look him in the eye as they hand over the spell. Thank you. Leon takes the spell from them and pockets it. Now go. I don't want to see you at my shop again. The dread nods and walks away, keeping their head down. You're seriously letting them off the hook that easily? Dia asks. Be grateful I'm feeling generous. You haven't gotten your punishment yet. Leon shoots a look at Dia. Dia immediately shuts her mouth. I feel bad. You should. You both escalated the situation way more than necessary, Leon says. Considering how that interaction went, you could have just spoken to them and gotten the crystals back. Instead, you decided to play keep away with them. They were using the stolen spell, though. Yes, but that wand was still theirs. You technically stole from them. So... We're even then, I guess? Maybe in the thievery aspect of things, you still both you you both still caused a lot of unnecessary trouble with your little game. You should have listened to Sunny when she told you to back off. Sorry. Dia lowers her head in shame. Sorry. I hope you two have been humbled enough to learn your lesson. Leon says. Now come on, let's head home. You're not mad. Do you want me to be? You shake your head and you, as you all begin to make your way back to the house. Oh, by the way, if the authorities ever ask you about what happened, just say you don't know anything. I don't need any more trouble because of all of this. Hi, hi, Captain. Oh man, what a wild day. Oh.